Martin Luther King Jr. used to say, if you have not found anything for which to die, you have no business leaving. And Christ is right. Those who want to save their lives will lose it. How can we live in a country where Luos and Luhias are now transporting their wives to their rural homes? Kikuyus who are in Nyanza and Western Province are going back to Central Province and yet we are 80% Christian. What kind of Christianity is that? Who has bewitched you? Julius Nyerere used to say, and I agree with him, when you are called upon to choose your leaders, beware of leaders who fall under these five principles, Mwalimu used to say, and he was a believer himself. Beware of leaders who love power for its own sake. Beware of leaders who love prestige for its own sake. Beware of leaders who love property for its own sake. Beware of leaders who love popularity for its own sake. And beware of leaders who love pomposity for its own sake. So my fellow Christians, we uh, urging you to go and agonize over what I've said. But let us organize. Because on the eighth day of August, we have an opportunity like no other. So let us not receive the rebuke of Paul that we have been bewitched. Let us receive the praise of Paul as recorded in the book of Acts at chapter 17. Let us be like the Christians of Berea, who after they had been preached to, they would go out and ask, did Paul and Silas preach to us the true word? The burden is yours. If I spoke anymore, I would be pharisaic.